Diva, what was it like to be a part of this National Geographic series, uh, Welcome to Earth? Because it your episode is really good. I mean, obviously life-changing. Um, no, it was just the wildest experience from, you know, going into the deep sea off the Bahamas with Will to a kilometer deep um, to swimming with like 200 manta rays to being in the water with one of the loudest animals in the world, sperm whales, and to even, you know, diving in balmy Britain um, to look at anemones. It was just a completely wild ride. Yeah. Now, what was it like? Because you get to go down very deep into what, since we're, this is a Disney Plus uh, show, we could go back to the Disney archive and go liquid space. What was it like to go, to have, to take Will that far down into the ocean? Yeah, I mean, I think it was a, for me, it was a pretty nerve wracking experience. You know, it's, it's going into the deep sea, no matter who you're going with is, is nerve wracking and exhilarating, right? Exciting. Yeah. You're going to a place that no one has been before. You're probably going to see things no one has seen before. Um, but to do that with Will sitting a foot away from me, just up that ante to another level that I couldn't even explain, right? But I think the thing is that, you know, if you've seen the episode, like, yeah. Will is terrified. Yeah. And that just brought a whole nother dimension to this experience. It's it's not only that we're going to this place that is no one's been before and where if something happens, no one's coming to get you. But also, you, I got the chance to see him as almost like a real person, to see mm -hmm. that fear, and um, and then to see him overcome it and see his awe and his, you know, his just amazement at the deep sea. It was, yeah, a, a pretty wild experience. And how important do you think shows like this, where you take somebody who never gets those experiences, and you take the, take these people down so far and you teach them something new? How important is it to the audience? Because I think. Um, for the audience, I think it makes them want to learn more about what they just saw. Absolutely. I mean, Will is an A-list celebrity who's probably had some of the most incredible experiences of anybody on earth, right? <laughs> and yet yeah. here he was having this suite across the episodes of new experiences, experiences that many viewers will also never have had. And so being able to see his real reaction, right, to all of these experiences, um, I think is really going to resonate with a lot of the viewers. And yeah. for me, you know, it really reminded me what a real privilege it is for me to do what I do to be able to go down into these parts of the planet and, and see things that no one has seen before. It, it just served as a reminder of, of how lucky I am. And I hope a lot of um, viewers really resonate with this journey of exploration and this journey of overcoming fear and also this journey of seeing what it is to be an explorer redefined, seeing who it is to be an explorer redefined. And uh, just to go in more about you, since you're a marine biologist, what was what are some of the things that you've seen so far in the last uh, in this last couple of years? Because we're seeing a global, we're seeing how real global warming is. Uh, what are some of the things you've experienced already, just from those changes, since you're there in the field? That's a really great question. And, and, you know, this is something that it actually, yes, you're going to do this exploration, you're going to have all these incredible experiences, but often they are marred with something quite negative because of our actions. So, you know, one of the best examples is um, in the last few years, I was leading an expedition in the Gulf of Mexico, and we were diving in a part of the Gulf of Mexico with a, with a um, remotely operated vehicle, a robot. Um, down to a kilometer. It was a part of the Gulf of Mexico that no one had been before. And we were given a sonar target to investigate. And so we were like, oh man, this can be a shipwreck. Who knows? We were taking bets about what it was going to be. And we dropped down to the seafloor a kilometer deep. And it was so quiet in the control van. You could hear a pin drop. And we drove up to the what we thought was going to be a shipwreck. And actually, we found ourselves driving through a field of washing machines dishwashers, dryers, fridges. And it turns out what we thought was going to be a shipwreck was actually a shipping container that had fallen off of a ship and spewed its contents all over the deep sea floor. And the thing is, that moment of, of true exploration became something quite sad. And that's a really common occurrence. We go to places that no one has been to before on the planet, and yet we always find evidence of us. And so this this out of sight, out of mind, out of reach idea we have about a lot of the planet is absolutely not true anymore. 
Yeah. And that's the one thing I love hearing that because it, it like, these are things I, you'll never know unless somebody like you t would tell them, tell those stories uh, and what's going on. Uh, the one thing I did want to ask you though, and want to ask you a question I've been asking everybody. Uh, what would you tell the, our younger audience who want to be this, who want to be in your seat, what they could do and what, how, how they could get to your position? Um, you know, I think oh, I'd say <laughs> it's a, a really cheesy answer, but I'd say <laughs> that, you know, <laughs> brace yourself. No, I'd say that actually, you know, we are all explorers already. You know, exploration is something that is totally inherent to us it is how we seek new information it's how we expand our horizons and actually we do that on a day-to-day -day basis and so what i would say is you will already have as a young person a lot of the skills that you need to be able to get you to a position like where albert Dwayne, eric christina and i are and um and just really don't don't forget that okay and um, that's a great answer it wasn't uh it was great. That was that was really, really <laughs> no, because it's like right now we're seeing a change and we're seeing a lot of uh, people of color getting into STEM yep. fields. Yep. Uh, and I think that's what we need. We need more people of color into STEM fields, especially with, with what you do, because marine biology is so important. But thank you so much, Diva, for talking with us. Yep. Really appreciate it. And we look forward. And I think everybody's looking forward to seeing Welcome to Earth. Thank you, Michael. Oh, thank you.